Most people have heard of irritable bowel syndrome, or IBS. It's a common disorder of the gut and causes symptoms such as abdominal pain, bloating, and either diarrhea, constipation, or both. It's a really prevalent condition and affects up to 11% of the world's population, and it has a really severe impact on their quality of life. To help improve the lives of people with IBS, King's has led some important research in the UK to investigate the clinical potential of a specific diet to help alleviate symptoms. The diet involves a low intake of FODMAPs. These are short-chain carbohydrates found in a variety of different fruits and vegetables and in pulses, milk and in honey. These FODMAP carbohydrates are either poorly digested or poorly absorbed in the gut, which leads to an increase in the amount of water in the small intestine. When they then arrive in the large intestine, they're fermented by the billions of bacteria there, which produce gas, and these can then cause symptoms of pain and bloating in people with IBS. As a result of our research, the low FODMAP diet is now a recommended treatment for IBS by the National Institute of Health and Clinical Excellence. GPs are increasingly referring patients to specially trained dietitians. And our research has shown that up to two-thirds of patients with IBS will have an improvement in symptoms when following the diet. This progress is really encouraging, but the diet is complex and difficult for people to follow. It excludes lots of commonly consumed foods until the food that is actually causing the problem can be identified. Which is why we've developed an app to help people identify which foods contain FODMAPs. It works by simply scanning the barcode while shopping. King's has undertaken some of the first randomised controlled trials to investigate the clinical potential of the low FODMAP diet. Our latest research was the largest ever clinical trial and we found some fascinating results showing that 73% of people with IBS had an improvement in their symptoms. Although the diet can change the types of bacteria in the gut, we've also shown that taking a probiotic supplement at the same time could be beneficial. We'll continue to stay at the cutting edge of nutritional research to find more ways to improve the management of gut disorders for future generations.